Oracle Park in San Francisco. Two of the best teams in the game square off. The Atlanta Braves taking on the San Francisco Giants. Ladies and gentlemen. First pitch coming your way next. San Francisco Giants. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the mound now, Cole Wynn. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's right, more pressure, right right now. he's go. more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now. And there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. And the batter now, Spencer Torkelson. All right, one time right here, kid. That one fouled off two and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pitch. This one in the air right field. Foster under this one. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third to the plate. Save. And it's one nothing. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So first and second with two outs. And now Michael Harris. One at a time. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. Let's go, drive it. The 2 1. Bounce to the left side. Out number three. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Braves one, and the Giants nothing. Base is empty with two away. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Gerald the batter, Raymond. The third There's a buzz in the stadium Gerald. every time he comes Raymond. to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. Swung out, belted. Deep. That one way back there. And that one's going to land not so much here, but here. He blasts one out to center. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 2 nothing. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Gerald Raymond. He's already homered in this game. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First offering misses badly for ball one. Let her rip right here. One down, base is empty. On the ground to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. The pitch. Nope, that's the ball. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0.
That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Man at first, Gerald Raymond. Next up for the Braves. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His third home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 6 nothing. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps.